Italian legacy versus Spanish might. Powerful job versus muscular physique. Ladies and gentlemen, the Italian gladiator versus the monster from the Canary Island. The Prisa Canario is a large, powerful dog breed that originated in Canary Islands. It is said to date back to the 15th and 16th centuries and was traditionally used for herding cattle, guarding farms, and working as a guard dog. The breed is known for its intelligence, courage, and physical resistance, as well as its natural guardian instincts. It nearly went extinct in the 1940s due to the introduction of other fighting breeds and the prohibition of dog fighting in the Canary Islands. However, a group of breeders from the island of Tenerife formed an association in 1982 to support the resurgence of the breed. Today, the Prisa Canario is the animal symbol of Gran Canaria and is recognized by many international canal clubs. The Cane Corazzo is an ancient Italian breed of Mastiff-type dog. It is descended from the molasses and now extinct massive type dog. Throughout its early history, the Cane Crusoe was used as guard dog, war dog, and skilled hunter of various games. The Cane Crusoe population declined significantly after World War I and II, but the breed was revived in the 1970s. The first Cane Crusoe dogs arrived in the United States in 1988. The American Kennel Club admitted the Cane Corso to the working group in 2010. The video of the history section is definitely Cane Corso. According to the American Kennel Club, the Prisa Canario is generally larger and heavier than the Cane Corso. Male Prisa Canarios stand 24 to 26 inches tall and weigh 120 and 150 pounds, while females stand 23 to 25 inches tall and weigh 90 to 110 pounds. Male Cane Cruzos stand 25 to 28 inches tall and weigh 99 to 110 pounds while females stand 23 to 26 inches tall and weigh 88 to 99 pounds. The winner of this section is Prisa Canario. According to the American Kennel Club, the Prisa Canario has a bite force of 540 PSI while the Cane Corso has a bite force of 700 PSI. Cane Corso has a significantly stronger bite than the Prisa Canario. Prisa Canarios are generally considered to be more aggressive and territorial than Cane Corso's. They are also more likely to bark and growl at strangers and they may even attack if they feel threatened. Prisa canarios are also known for their high prey drive, which can make them more likely to chase after intruders or other animals. Cane cruisers, on the other hand, are more likely to take a lead and see approach when confronted with strangers. They are also more likely to bond with people, including children. However, cankerozoos are still capable of being very aggressive if they feel threatened or if they are protecting their loved ones. Ultimately, the best guard dog for you will depend on your individual needs and preferences. Duck fighting has been a cruel human activity for centuries. It is brutal and inhumane. So, what would happen if these two breeds fought each other? 
The cane crusoe has a stronger jaw and is taller, while the pre-secondario has a more weight and a more muscular body. According to some experts, the two breeds are evenly matched and there would be no clear winner. In terms of war fame, the Cane Crusoe is slightly more popular than pre Canario. According to the American Kennel Club, the Cane Crusoe is ranked 32nd in the popularity among the registered dog breeds in the United States, while the pre Canario is ranked 55th. There are a few reasons for the Cane Crusoe's greater popularity. First, Cane Crusoe has been around for longer than the pre Canario. As a result, the Cane Crusoe has had more time to become established as a breed and to gain popularity around the world. Italian gladiators' fame and legacy sealed the deal. Cane Crusoe defeated the Canary Islands monster Prisa Canario 5-3. Two magnificent dogs that are symbol of power in the world. Do you think the result was fair? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.